morning everybody myself Bipin Indwar and I am the student of the Silivri B. A. Tarai College and I am in the first year second semester and my math paper is English. Today I want to share with you all a very important chapter from grammar that is active and a passive voice. Before discussing anything about active and a passive voice I want to give you a kind information that you should have a good knowledge on the chapter called tense without tense it will be useless to understand this particular chapter that is active and a passive voice so today i will teach you how to convert from active to passive in a very simple way and the method will be easier the process the easier to understand so i have made it easier so that all will get understand easily so let's begin how we will deal and passive basically what happened is that the action is been performed by the subject along with the object so over here the active and passive means the action is taking place with the help of the subject along with the object so let's see what is a active voice now active voice basically subject perform the action and the object receives the action subject perform the action that's why i have given over here like subject perform the action and object receives the action so the sentence structure what will be there is that subject plus verb plus object whatever will be the question based on the active and passive voice that means if the question is given in an active form it should always be like this the structure manner should be in this manner only subject plus verb plus object in the sentence there should be the combination of all three these three then only it will be the active form so let's see the next one that is a passive form passive form what happen is over here is that action is performed on the object by the subject again i want to repeat it once again according to the passive form what happen is that action is performed on the object by the subject got it clear that's why i have given it the arrow that means the action is performed on the object and then i have given also arrow in the left hand direction only by the subject that means it is over here the action is being performed on the object got it and then the subject structure which i have discussed over here is object plus hv hv means nothing but it is a helping verb the next one is v3 i have written and then v3 means actually it is the third form of a verb whenever we will do active and a passive voice whenever we are turning into the passive form what you need to understand is that whenever there will be a verb that means whatever the form will be you have to just remember that you have to use only the third form of the verb next one the preposition that is the compulsory one the preposition you have to use the word by and then at the last what happen is that the subject come at the last but in the previously what i have found is that i have written subject at the beginning and the object is at the last but over here according to the passive form what happen is the subject goes to the last object position and the object comes in the subject position so based on this one i have given the example based on both are the active and passive form so let's see in the active form for example i have written over here bappa repaired my car i have written that means Bappa repaired my car over here. Bappa is my subject. And then the repair is my verb. And the third one that is my car will be what? It will be my object. So exactly in the sentence I have found the subject also, verb also, object is also there. That means what? It means that it is in a active form. The next one, as per whenever we will turn that one into the passive form, what will happen is that, let's see. So, as I have told you that subject and the object positions get interchanges. So, exactly what I will do is that my object will come first. Like, for example, I have written over here, the question was, Baba repaired my car. So, whenever you will write that one into the passive form, what you will do is that, my car that means the last one came at the beginning my car was repaired 
by Bappa. So I have used all the aspects which I have told you just now about the passive form that is object, helping verb, verb 3, by and the subject. Clear? Now as per for the helping verb, if you have do if you have no idea about the helping verb, I will give the chart of that helping verb so that it will be very much useful for you all. So let's go for the helping verb. Just as I have told you previously only before starting the chapter, I have told you that you should have a good knowledge based on the trends. Based on the tense only, you will able to solve the different kinds of sums which will be given based on the active and a passive voice. So I have written a chart over here based on the tense, active voice and a passive voice. The tense will be the tense, eight tense I have taken. Then I have taken active voice which is also known as, will be the main verb and the passive will be the helping verb. Remember that active voice will be the main verb and then passive voice will be the helping verb so let's deal the first one i have written the simple present over here simple present i have given the for the main verb i have written right or rights that means this is in the first form of the verb you can say like that got it and the next one then i have written in the passive form is am are written is am are written means to say that either you have to take is am or are which will be sounding the correct or which will be doing the sentence in a correct manner when you will say the word that is the sentence in a fluent way that word should match with this particular word i cannot say say that they they each i cannot say they are that means what is there that means they along with the they if you will add are that sounds correct that is a grammatically correct pronunciation will come but if I will say they is that is not applicable so basically you have to remember which that particular I will give you the examples based on that one and then it will be very much clear so let's deal with the next one I have written then always one more thing I have forgot to tell you is that at the last is always I have written in a written write wrote written like that this means this will be always in the third form of the verb remember whenever you are turning the active voice into passive voice the verb form will be always in the third form if i will say sing sing means what that is the first form of the verb then that will be what the second form will be sang then third form will be what sung so exactly eat at eaten so that is how you have to remember you have to always take the third form of the verb so the next one coming towards the present continuous the main verb will be is am in the word in the sentence if you find that particular sentence is or am is there that means or r is there you remember that you have to turn that particular sentence if you are turning that one in the passive form you have to use is am r only but along with that you have to add bin that means bin is the compulsory over here that you need to be add that particular thing so I will give you the example based on that on every aspect. So in this manner, the present perfect have written, I have written. That means when you will turn that one in the passive form, it will ha happen. The have been written. That means there is no option directly. Have is there. I have written have been. So only this one is that you have to remember it is in the third form, last word. And the next one coming towards the simple past, I have written wrote. Then wrote, in, either it will be was or where. That means over here, there is an option that you have to choose either was or where and the last that is the written clear and the next one is the past continuous in the past continuous also the options comes like this see remember the next short form is like that everything is coming in the next direction like was was where is coming over here so exactly you have to remember in that manner also but don't try to follow in that manner because it will be a confusing one so try to follow in the simple manner it will make the work easier okay so i'm talking about the past continuous now past continuous either there is, you have to see that if in the sentence there is a word the main verb is was or where and then it is written in the third form the verb is in the third form just remember that you have to convert that particular thing in either was or where plus this again i'm telling you again and again that being is compulsory over there so coming towards the past perfect has written i have written if in the main verb in the sentence it is given that had written <coughs> 
sorry so you have to take that in the passive form had been written over here being is there over here been so do not be confused with a been and being clear and the next one is the simple future simple future whenever you are dealing with a simple future what will happen is the main verb you will find the future future means talking about the future either there will be shall or will clear so whenever i am talking about the simple future will that means voice here it will be so will return i have written then the next whenever you are turning that one in the passive form what will happen will be written remember this one will be whenever you are turning that one in the passive form you have to write will be written and coming towards the third one that is the future perfect future perfect i have written will have will have written i have written you have to convert that particular thing into what whenever you are turning that in a passive form you have to turn that one into the will have been that means exactly you can copy blindly the same thing but you have to add the word been and the third form of the verb written so exactly what happened is that you need to remember this chart only then only you will be perfect in an active and a passive voice so talking about that now though how i will make more easier to this active and a passive voice more easier format how i will deal so i have taken out the five steps of solving the active and a passive voice so look out at both very correctly so you have, along with this you have to remember the certain steps which will make your work easier so look at over here i have written over here the five steps i have written the five steps over here in order to make the work very easy <coughs> sorry so the first thing what you have to remember out of that five steps the first one is you need to identify identify the sentence that means again and again i am telling you have to identify the sentence whenever you will see, see that the sentence is given in an active form you have to identify over there so identify what you have to identify is that subject verb and object these three things should be there in the sentence clear that means while identifying you have to identify whether in the sentence there is a subject a verb or object the presence of these things should be there this thing next coming towards the now talking about the second one second one talking about the second one i have written over here swipe swipe means it is not a form of a dance or swag like that but it is a swipe we do not swiping in the mobile and then we swipe so exactly in this manner what happened is that over here in the active and passive voice also we do a swipe the swipe is that i have written subject and object over here what happened is that over here according to the swipe what happened is that subject goes to the object position and objects comes to the subject position remember that whenever we are dealing with the swipe what happened is that the position changes that means whenever you are turning the active sentence into the passive form what will happen is that subject will go to the object position and object will come to the subject position that is the second one now let's see the third one third one is you have to add helping verb before the main verb add helping verb before the main verb means to say that look at over here i have told you in the active voice over here active voice means what it is a main verb and passive voice means a helping verb that means my passive form is what it is my helping verb and active one will be my main verb clear so exactly in this manner only you have to add a helping verb before the main verb that means you will see the sentence in a active form and then according to that only you will write like if, if the sentence is written in the active form that is the main verb that is a have written then you have to turn into the passive form that means you have to remember that you have to use the had been written so exactly mv means it is a main verb and hv means it is a helping verb so remember that one helping verb is the passive form and main verb is a active form the next <coughs> very important thing is that that is the fourth steps now that is the fourth step is you have to convert v into v3 v into v3 means any form of, will be given in the verb the word which will be given that is the verb which will be given let it be in the any form you have to convert that particular verb into the third form of it clear like uh, in most of the cases the verb doesn't change like made it will be made made and then if we'll talk about the fourth form it will be making so we will not use the fourth form only the third form 
If it is given in the third form, again you have to convert that one into the third form only. So basically you have to remember that you need to convert the verb into V3. Remember that. Next one talking about the last one that is the fifth. Now talking about the fifth. I have there is a no place so I have taken that one arrow as a below over here. That means I have written over here add the preposition by. Add the preposition by before the subject. Add the preposition by before the subject. That means by is playing a leading role. That is the preposition. I will use the word by. That means by means what? Whenever we are doing the swipe, what happens is the subject goes to the object position. Object go, comes to the subject position. So you need to add by before the subject. What will happen is that subject will go to the last position. And before that you have to use particular word that is by. Clear? Now these five steps are clear. So one more important thing you need to remember while doing the active and a passive voice is that you have to keep in your mind whenever you are changing the form, the words, the pronouns, whenever you are changing, that is the pronoun word, you need to remember that like I will be me. I will be me, he will be him, she will be her, we will be us and they will be them. So this is also the important thing which is to be marked out and you should keep in your brain so based on this one i will give the example based on every aspect of this tense correct got it everybody rest of the things whatever will be there i will give you in the next coming video thank you